Hey everyone and welcome to Shuriken Skills number 54 here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. This Shuriken skill is to create an outlining fill to a group containing a gradient mesh in Illustrator, just as I have here with this light bulb. You can see it's a nice gradient fill around that just there. I move that to the side just for a second because I have the original group here without that effect on it. And what I want to do is add an outline. Now, if it was just going to be a simple colored outline like black, for example, that would be relatively easy. You could just do option command slash alt control slash on the PC. And if I just go to the appearance panel here, I can dial up the weight of the stroke like so and drag it down beneath the contents. And there you go. You've got that stroke around that like so. But what if there was going to be a gradient around it? Well, the options for gradients within strokes in this particular case probably won't cut it. If I choose a gradient here, like so. Now, at the moment, that's being drawn within the stroke. So you are seeing it poking out the sides there. But I can't reposition it as I could with a fill. It just runs there inside of the stroke. If I just make sure I tap G here, you'll see that the annotator does not appear at all. I could also, if I just go to the gradient panel here, then do it along the stroke. So it will follow the length of the stroke there. Now that does give me an option, but it's not what I'm after this time. And then of course, across the stroke as well, which gives me again, another option, but really it's not meeting my needs at all. I'll just dial that up away. There you go. You can see that's going across. Now it's a nice effect, but like I said, not what I want this time around. So I'll drag that down to the trash. And what I'll do now is add a new fill. So command slash control slash to do that and then drag that down beneath the contents, target it in the appearance panel, go to the effect menu, okay, down to path, and then choose offset path with a value here. I'm just gonna set that to round as well and hit okay. And you can see immediately there's a small problem because it's not applying this fill to the gradient mesh. And this is a question I've been asked a few times by various different users, can it be done? And the answer is yes. If you go to the effect menu, come down to path again and choose outline object. Now and at first nothing will happen, but if I drag that above the offset path effect, suddenly there you go, you've got that fill going all the way around. And then you can use all of the options that you would usually use with a fill, including changing the position of the gradient if it's got a gradient and of course so many more things besides and that's your new shuriken skill to practice please let me know if you've enjoyed the tutorial and alicia do you have any advice for people new to the design ninja channel subscribe today and hit the bell for notifications and there you go so until next time see ya